welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the chemistry program that we used for my 12 year old just this last past year. At the end, I'll also go through some of the books and resources that we used alongside the program. Be sure to stay to the end so that you can get a glimpse inside some of the other resources we used and pulling resources and coming up with an exploratory hands-on science program that also covers everything that I want it to is a massive ask for a busy homeschooling mum like myself. So when I stumble across a program that can give us all of that without the use of workbooks, you can bet you I'm gonna give that one a red hot. This is the elementary chemistry program written by Scott McQuarrie, which you can find on his website, The Lab of Mr Q. I stumbled upon Scott's program several years ago when I used snippets of the Earth Science Elementary range with my kids way back when. For reasons I simply can't remember, we didn't actually complete that full Earth Science program and in fact we didn't re-look at the Classic Science range until last year again, so it's been several years since I've seen it. I did, however, always have it tucked away in my memory for one day. Early last year, in our tiny co-op, we were working through a grade level appropriate science program. It wasn't terrible, but it was heavy with reading and packed full of information with loads and loads of questions the children needed to answer for each lesson and had very little in the way of exploratory, hands-on activities to help reinforce the concepts that were being taught. In the end, my science-loving 12-year-old was beginning to detest his weekly science lesson. That's when I knew I needed to look for something else. Given my son's age and the fact that we had previously been working on a science book that was about 12 months above his grade level, I really was stuck when I jumped onto Scott's website. I just wasn't sure um, of which way to go with the programs and which one to choose. I was concerned that the elementary program would be below him and far too simple for him, but yet he wouldn't have the skills necessary to effectively be able to complete the high school level programs that Scott has available on his site. Based on that though, in the end, I did settle for the elementary range because I knew that I could always supplement if I found that that term was required as we worked our way through the lesson. I had to come back to my main focus and the goal of using this program was to reignite the love of science in my son. So let's dive in, shall we? Obviously the best way to see any program is to take a look inside. So let's take a look as I flip you through some of the pages within the elementary chemistry program. The entire range is purchased via downloadable PDFs. I am someone that likes to hold books in my hand and where possible I will always have PDFs printed and I'm so very blessed to have access to a great printer so I only need to pay a few small dollars to have them bound. At Officeworks here in Australia I think it cost me roughly around five dollars for each book to be bound. So we chose chemistry, and as you can see, there are two separate components to this program. We have the parent copy and also the student copy, both of which are totally suitable to be read straight from a computer or a tablet. They do not need to be printed. That's just my personal preference. In both books though, there are some pages that are best printed and each lesson does contain a few worksheets to be printed off. Okay, let's take a closer look at the parent guide. Straight away, you come to the easy to follow contents page. It clearly shows the topics to be covered and in which week those particular topics will be covered. I'm sure how well you can see that. I'm just going to lift that closer to the camera for you. Next up, we have the materials for activity sheet. And again, this lists them out chapter by chapter, all the materials that you need. If you take a close look, you will notice the majority of the materials are basic regular household items that can easily be found. And if you don't have them at home, they're generally items that can easily be purchased at the local chemist or supermarket. 
quick caveat for anyone outside of the USA, there is the odd need for things like pennies and a very small number of items that we did struggle to get here in Australia. However, it did not affect our overall use of the program. The lessons are packed with hands-on demonstrations to help understand the topic being discussed. Then, throughout the year, the students work on exploring scientific procedures. These are what most of us know as the typical science experiment, where some level of monitoring is required. These introduce the child to analysing, variables, hypotheses, graphs and data tables. This section clearly breaks down how to do these with your children. into the lessons. Each lesson is broken down across a few days. For us personally we completed the reading on one day and the hands-on activities on another. I don't feel there's any right or wrong way to do this, it's whatever works best for your schedule. As you can see it is so easy to follow and very well laid out. Each parent lesson explains exactly what is happening, what materials you need, and what outcomes or standards are being covered in that particular lesson. Each lesson has a list of vocabulary words with their definitions, along with a great set of discussion questions. We used these for roundtable discussion after the reading component and during the hands-on parts of the lesson. This part of the parent guide gives you all the answers to the worksheets that are contained inside the student book. And then you get into the hands-on components. Here it provides a thorough description of what is happening and what to look for, along with a full step-by-step -step activity guide to follow. And basically, each lesson follows the same exact format. every few weeks or so you have the option of a test. These really focus on vocabulary and the child's understanding of the definitions learnt in the previous lessons. As you can see with this particular one it is mostly comprised of filling in missing letters for the vocabulary words. There are also generally options for multiple choice type questions and this particular test has a more long form question and answer type scenario. Of course, doing the test part of the program is completely optional and up to the parent as to what they do here. We completed some of the tests, but not all. I personally really liked the focus on vocab and spelling. There's a great deal of big words to learn in chemistry even at this level. As I mentioned earlier, scattered throughout the program are more involved experimental type activities. This one here is looking at polymers and physical change. The children test the absorbency of nappies. This involves recording and changing variables within the experiment. Okay, let's move on to the student copy. 
Remember in the parent guide where each lesson states to read the text? This is where the text is found. What I do love about these guides is that they're also they're written directly to the child in a fun, comical and entertaining style. So depending on your child and your family dynamics, this can be used as a read aloud or the child could actually just read through each lesson independently. Again, you have a full list of contents and then this one gets straight into the lessons. The information is delivered in an interesting format with bite-sized chunks so as not to overwhelm the child. It has lots of little images to uh, engage them and keep them wanting to learn. And at the end of the reading, which usually takes no more than around 10 minutes, there are some simple vocabulary focused worksheets. As you can see here, this one, fill in missing letters, Generally, I'm not into these types of worksheets and many may suggest that they are just busy work, but there were so many terms that we covered throughout this program. I really liked that the worksheets focused on vocabulary and spelling. They just helped to solidify what we had read about. And that is the student guide. Each lesson is pretty much the same from here. So a lesson is reading, And a couple of worksheets and then generally you will have two hands-on demonstrations at the end of each unit they will have a review page and then a small test for those people that wish to use that part of the program and really I honestly feel that there is nothing more that needs to be added to this program it really is a great balance of reading writing and hands-on explorations and it absolutely stands up really well all on its own one thing I did want to point out is that whilst this is part of the elementary program those of it that participated in working through this last year did feel that most children under the age of 10 probably wouldn't benefit that greatly from it Unless, of course, they're heavily into science and love more structured learning. In fact, we had some kids as old as 15 join us and everyone learnt heaps. So, of course, it's going to depend on your family, your learning styles and how much exposure your children have had to science in previous years. For any of you that are here in Australia with me, there is a large portion of this program that absolutely is fits in with our lower high school curriculum standards uh, our, my children's maths teacher actually has a chemistry degree and i did have her look at a couple of the lessons here and she most definitely agreed uh, with that stance so that's another thing to keep in mind as well so yeah do not let the elementary label fool you here i personally think this is a great program for about kids in grades four through to eight give or take on either side of that, of course, depending on your children and your situation. So whilst I do genuinely feel that this is a fabulous standalone program and it does not need anything added to it, that's just not how I roll. And you will get to know that as I continue to put out uh, more videos like this. So definitely I included other resources and extra books in with the program. And I thought I'd take you through some of those quickly now. We really enjoyed this 300 piece Osborne puzzle. I'll grab a piece out for you so you can see the size. Um, it's lovely, bright, colourful. That was a great way to explore the periodic table further. Then we have the DK elements, sorry, the DK, the most explosive science book in the universe. This one we flipped through and just read the pages that were chemistry related. Nice, bright and colourful again. Of course, no chemistry unit is complete without the elements. A visual exploration of every known atom in the universe by Theodore Gray. This particular book has great photographic visuals in it and plenty of information about each particular atom as well. I think this one's well worth an addition to the home library or at least if you can borrow it from your local library. I 
Of course, we couldn't look at atoms and not play around with our own atom building kit. So we've had this one for quite a few years, it's had plenty of uses, and um, the children do enjoy recreating the atoms when they have the opportunity to do so. Theodore Gray, The Elements Vault. This particular one isn't really that much different to the other Theodore Gray book that I just had. It is a hardcover. Again, has some great visuals in it. The difference with this one though is slightly a little bit more, slightly a little more interactive. So it has little bits and pieces of pockets of information you can pull out and have a look at. Um, some of the lovely ones, for example, like this, which shows a zircon. You can actually take it out play around with it and actually take it out to have a closer look. So it is a lovely book, certainly not something that's necessary to complete the unit though. But without a doubt, the hands-on best extra resource that I added into our chemistry program was this giant periodic table poster that you can see behind me. This poster I picked up from Officeworks. It was definitely less than $20. In fact, I think it may have even been less than $15. And it hands down was the best purchase I actually made. I left it hanging on the wall for the entire time we were studying chemistry. It got used every lesson. Every single lesson, at least one or two of the children went up to explore the poster further. And in fact, it was used so many times when we weren't even doing chemistry lessons and not even by my own children, but by other guests and visitors coming into our home. This is something I would highly recommend is get yourself a nice, big, visual, periodic table of elements. It was a really great buy. Would I recommend this program to others? Absolutely. We all loved this program and all of us got so much out of using it. It is really a wonderful program. And I wanna thank Scott for taking the time to put this together. In fact, I probably should have given you a little bit of background on Scott McQuarrie. He is a US-based high school science teacher who had the opportunity to run some homeschooling um, classes and lessons a few years back. Whilst he didn't have the time to move forward and work with homeschoolers full time, he did decide to put together this program. So it is written specifically for the homeschooling parent in mind. Thank you Scott for doing that, I appreciate it. I'm sure we've all used programs before that are written for the school system and we often end up feeling very frustrated with those because they just simply don't understand what it's like being a home educating parent. This program is completely different. It's actually written with us in mind. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up down below. Have you used this resource? I'd love to hear from you if you have. Please leave me a comment down below so we can chat about it a little bit further. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Until next time, bye for now.